Hey y'all, this is Joe, this is my shop. This is where all the fun happens and, and all the stuff gets fixed and all the mess gets made. And today we're gonna to be working on a tail rudder. It's off a BK-117 B1 model helicopter and I'm looking forward to taking it apart and letting you all watch. So this is the yoke assembly out of the tail rudder. I've previously taken the blades off of it. I wanted to show you before I take it apart. You can see that it's got a, a natural twist in it um, and that's to provide um, a little bit of blade anti-torque that's what the tail rotor does. And you can see that when I twist it and let go of it, it turns itself back to, to the static condition. So we'll take it apart and we'll see what makes it tick. Okay, so I previously had taken a few parts apart. We have the blades taken off. I got the cotter pins pulled out and, um, and I pulled these off. These go right here. And this is what um, connects the, the tail rotor assembly to the helicopter. Um, and there are, are um, pieces that attach here that push this back and forth that cause it to twist when you step on the tail rotor pedals. Um, if as a you know as a pilot you control the tail rotor pitch with your feet in a helicopter so we'll set these aside and then we'll talk we'll do a little bit of uh, disassembly here so we'll pull these nuts off so I should mention that I'm not intending to return this tail rotor to flyable condition this is going to be strictly an ornament um, I hope to make a, a fan out of it at some point it was kind of my goal so we're not being super fussy about this stuff, and I also don't have, I'm not properly licensed to take this apart. This, this tail rotor had a few blade strikes in it. It was not in flyable condition, so um, it became a, a surplus and, and uh, not, not cost effective to repair. So that's how we ended up with it. So we'll pull these, pull the pins out, pull this one out, and then this should just slide right apart. So there's one, there's two. And here's the inside. So that's what it comes apart as. That's how it looks all disassembled. Okay, so I pulled the center part of the yoke out and I've, I've clamped it in the vise here with some leather padding so it doesn't get marred up. And I found this to be pretty interesting. It looks like a solid piece of metal um, but what it's actually is, it's a bunch of metal plates all bonded together, and the metal plates have some flexibility in them. So, so while it looks like metal, it bends like rubber. And that's what, that's what causes the twist in the blades, and also what returns the blades to, back to the static position when you let go of the, of the, um, the tail rotor pedals. So, pretty cool. This is the second blade, the one I'm still working on. It had some damage here on the end from the tail rudder strike where it had a, a gash in the end and then some streaks on it. So I poured some epoxy on it and then I sanded it and then I put some Bondo on it and wet sanded it some more and then put a coat of primer on it and, um, and uh, got it all straightened out. So it needs a coat of white paint and then um, we'll do the red stripe on the tail of it, on the, on the tip of it and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so it's a minute later and here we are all done. No, uh, I'm kidding, of course. This is actually the other blade. Um, I've been working on it for a couple of weeks. Had the same problem, um, but I managed to get it wet sanded and painted and then uh, put the nice red end on it here. And you can see here where the um, part of the, um, the serial number and other information about the tail is actually bonded into the blade because they keep track of all the parts on an aircraft. All right, this is Bogey. Bogey says hi. So I'm gonna get this uh, yoke assembly cleaned up and put back together and then we'll be on our way to making a fan. See you next time. Oh, hey, you're still here. Next week on the shop, five minutes of me wet sanding.